Hey guys, welcome back to some more Cricket Captain 2016 and part 50 of the road to world number one with England and today we have the third and final test match against the West Indies. It feels absolutely crazy to say that we're 50 episodes into this now. Really, really big, big thanks to you guys who keep watching day in, day out and you blows away every time. So thanks for that and we're going to keep this series going pretty much up until FM 17 I think um, you know obviously I can't keep it going forever but we'll be back on the channel before Cricket Captain 17 so let's get into things uh, I've got that out of the way uh, I'm actually gonna swap uh, Johnny Bairstow for Stephen Davies just because he played so well uh, in the test matches that you know um, he played in I, f I feel like he deserves a goal because Bairstow hasn't done that much since he's come into things so put him at six keep the rest of it just the same um, that, that seems fine so let's get into things and hopefully we can win this match so tails is a call and um, we've been put in the bat I don't mind that um, you know uh, all we need is a draw so just go in there uh, sorry go out there and put in a good performance we need to put that on low and uh, we're hoping for a good score from both of these two, but Cook's gone for eight. And well, balance comes to the crease. It's a good delivery. <coughs> Ooh, balance gone for six, so he hasn't had the best series if we have a look at him. Um, he also had that 97. Uh, what's what's that? Other. Mm. Oh, that must have been the um, three day match. Yeah. So. Balance, maybe under a bit of pressure. Coming out for the English summer now. I'm sorry, gone for 10, and we're 42 for 3 here. So we need these two to set a, a nice foundation. 79 for 3 at lunch. And the four man, James Vince. Comes to the piece. Roots not been playing well, and that form continues. He's gone for 22. Stephen Davis comes to the crease, and hopefully, he'll be able to. To do something good. 50 for James Vince. That's out. He's gone for 56. <clears throat> Time in the air, but it's four. Well, T interval day one. 185, 83 for five. Not good. Um, we'll up the aggression of Stephen Davis. Uh, and. Ben Stokes as well. That's it for four fifty for ben, uh, Stephen Davis, by the way, which is great to see. <coughs> Pardon me, fifty for Ben Stokes. Ah, oh, what a shame. Davies gone for sixty-seven, but certainly warranted his place in the side. Oh, good delivery. Got more Nally. In now, but he's gone for nine, and we're going to tell Ben Stokes to keep the strike and be very aggressive. Oh, dropped. That's out. He's gone for 58. Broad could have been gone there. End of day one, 264 for eight. He's gone. Well, if I can. Past 280, I was gonna say I'd be happy, but 275 all out. Um, seems like a bit of a bowl as pitch this one by all accounts, but uh, remember, we just need to draw this match, so hopefully, we can put in a good bowling performance today. Get some wickets, uh, it's not a good start for us, but he has brought a Braithwaite, and that's better. He's gone for 19, and now the West Indies have lost the first wicket. Ben Stokes into the attack. This could be a run out. This could be a run out. Is a run out. Bravo gone for three. That's a big fish gone. Caught and bowled. Powell gone now. <clears throat> and well, we're pleased with this. Stokes to chase. Lunch interval. Stokes and Finn to chase now. It's a good delivery, but not quite out. That one is though. He's gone for 11. And now West Indies 58 for four. Bring Stuart Broad back into the attack and maybe more an alley. No. 
nothing there. Um, McLeod. Finn. To you another day two. Um, Finn to Paul. Edge draw dropped. Unlucky though. That's gone though. Paul gone for 56. Johnson's the other one we have to get out. Brock Dowrich. Edged for four. Finn to Johnson. Cotton Bold. He's gone for 90. This could be another run out. Oh, I think he got home. Very lucky indeed. Oh, dropped. Um, McLeod. Not out. Edged and gone. Stokes gets another wicket. It's ball very well, Stokes. Uh, you feel like he's got more than two wickets this innings, but new ball out now. <laughs> we'll give it to Terry McLeod, naturally. Get a bit of swing on it. End of day two. And now we'll bring in uh, Broad and Stephen Finn. And hopefully bring about the end of this innings fairly quickly. That's a good catch. the line. Oh, that's four buys, I think. Gone. Another wicket for Broad. And that's it. Uh, oh, uh, no ball. Unlucky. I thought it might have been a glitch, but it wasn't. Oh, well stopped. Well stopped. That's out, Finn gets a final wicket, West Indies 313 all out, Stephen Finn 5 for 78, very pleased with that and hopefully these two can bat pretty well. So, lunch interval day 3, we have reached 33 without loss, uh, we're 5 runs behind and we're hoping that we can build a solid lead here. Another good delivery. Ah, that's out. Cook gone for 29 and we're now 57 for 1 and we only lead by 20. Oh, up the aggression of these two. Oh, balance dropped. Lucky. T interval day 3. We lead by 49 so it's virtually 49 for 1. Uh, we need to build a good lead here. Fifty for Gary Balance, fifty for Ansari as well, but he's gone for sixty-six. Oh, Balance gone for fifty-seven. So two brand new batsmen at the crease. And well, end of day three with one hundred and sixty-seven for three, a lead of one hundred and twenty-nine. So. These two need to push on and get a good total between them. Good delivery and Vince has gone for 26. Now Stephen Davis comes to the crease. Root's been hit and he's had to retire. Mm. Now then. We need Davies and Stokes to do well. Davies gone for 7 though. Lunch interval day 4. 206 is the lead. Two aggressive batsmen at the crease. We're going to have to go for it. It's as simple as that. And uh, they're going well. 50 for Moan Alley. And I'm regretting moving that notch up just a little bit. Could have been out, but it wasn't. It was Stokes. Edged. But stopped. T interval day four, three three seven for five, a lead of two hundred and ninety nine. Oh, this could be a run out. This could be a run out. He's made it home. 
Oh, what a shame. Ben Stokes going for 48. Now we'll leave it to Moan Alley to get the runs. Um, oh, that's gone. Moan Alley out for 68. Um, we need to be careful here. And these two take us pretty much over the margin where West Indies could beat us. I mean, they still can. 100%, but. And that's out. So we've got 14 minutes to have a go at them at the end here of day four. And, well, we're either going to win this match or lose it. I don't see it being a draw now. Finn de Braithwaite. Well played and a good start for us here. Brought to Bravo. Gone. Bravo gone for three. Come on. Send the power. Good delivery, but not quite. Gonna bring Mo and Ali in. I thought that was out. Got him. Yes, he's gone for 24. Lunch interval day 5, so 102 for 3. They need 246 more to win. We need 7 wickets. Hmm. This isn't good. Oh yes, Chase gone, Broad gets a wicket, and well, Finn now to Powell, gone, now two brand new batsmen to the crease, this is our chance to strike, oh dropped, oh, Stokes in, uh, McLeod, could be out, not. Yeah, there's that. Stokes to Dowridge. Gone. He's up for 19. Holder gone for 5. Gone. Cottrell out for a duck on a hat trick. Didn't get it. Got McLeod now to Roach. Got him, he's gone for one and we need one wicket to win. Can McLeod get it? No he can't. Um, to interval day five, we need one wicket to win. Who do we want to be nice to? Mo and Ali. McLeod. <coughs> Edged and gone. He's out for 25, we win by 146 runs, we can be pleased about that. Man of the match, Ben Stokes, probably deservedly so, 5 wickets and that uh, 58 and 48 as well with the bats. So, yeah, pretty good match there, uh, pretty low score and no sentries, but uh, we did the job and that means we win the series 2-0. And it also means that we may move up a place. Well, we're, we're now level with South Africa. We're only six points behind India and we'll be going to next season. We will just have a look in this episode. Uh, at the end of the season, we'll see whereabouts uh, we will be playing our test matches next year. So let's just have a look to see if we won um, the one day internationals and stuff yeah we won everything we won the 2020s we won the the odis west indies only won one match there but looking at the um if we look at the england team there there's alex hales there's mark wood uh duval we had a, a one match go with him wayne wright is in there obviously he's struggled to get back in to the test team after a bit of poor form but i'm sure we'll see more of him in the future uh, so here we go then, 
Welcome to the 2019 season and it's the Ashes to kick us off into the summer. That is going to be intense. The home Ashes series. Who else we got? Um, oh, it's a World Cup in England. Yeah, I forgot that the 2019 World Cup was in England. So then we've got Australia and the Ashes and then we're in South Africa and New Zealand. So some very, very big series coming up. And I'm looking forward to covering them with you guys. Um, we have no profiles, but looking at the performance, uh, what we can pick up this year is one point. That is all we can pick up uh, against New Zealand. So we are going to have a 2020 season, no matter what, because we can't reach number one. Um, so we're going to have to beat uh, New Zealand. Uh, we're going to have to try and beat Australia to maintain that. And beat South Africa away. That is going to be very difficult as a motorbike goes past and makes my life a misery. But we've moved up to fourth place now. Pakistan down to fifth. Uh, so that's interesting. Uh, fourth best team in the world once again. ODI Championship. Second. 2023. Well, I haven't looked at this in a while. So let's have a look at the batsman. Best batsman in the world. Alistair Cook is up there. I uh, highly doubt Kevin Peterson's still in this list, is he? Uh, I don't see... Well, there's Adil Ali, so perhaps Peterson's in here. Unless he's retired, that is something. Um, that could be the case. I mean, Stuart Broad's up there. Peterson has to be there somewhere. Uh, unless he has retired... No, no, there he is. 52 in the world. 38 years old now. Um, brand new season. Will he get a place in our squad? I don't think he will. Uh, he's played 137 test matches now, but hasn't played for a while for us. Um, but yeah, looking at, looking at the best batsman, we've got Cook Root uh, and nobody else there. Bowlers. Uh, Terry McLeod, number seven best bowler in the world. Stu Broad's up there. Anderson. I don't know. Don't know where Anderson is. There he is. He's still playing as well. So that's good to see. But just a bit of fun at the end of that episode there. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a like down below if you did. You don't have to, of course, but mean love for me and for the channel. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.